Hey everybody, just back here with another video. So, looks like Pierre Polyev really does not like Jugmeet Singh. He, uh, he made a bunch of posts about him yesterday, and then here we got a couple more things to go through, and starting with this quick video, it's a little bit old as it was taken back when they were still having question period. And right now, as I'm sure many of you know, the House of Commons and question period is adjourned until September. So it's from a few months ago, but it's still pretty uh, interesting to see here. It says, breaking, Jugmeet Singh's top spokesman and brother's company is a lobbyist for grocery giant. What a hypocrite. Is that what grocery prices, is that why grocery prices are up 12% since Singh gained power in the Trudeau government? Let's hear what Pierre Polyev had to say. The NDP leader was just asking about why the Prime Minister gave tens of millions of dollars in corporate handouts to powerful grocery chains. He's not giving millions of dollars to corporate grocery stores. When will the Liberals, when will the Prime Minister stop giving big grocery a free ride? The answer, of course, is that he voted to let the Prime Minister do that. Yeah. Not a single penny of that money could have gone without the vote of the NDP coalition partner. But we learned something else, that this might have been due to the influence of the NDP leader's spokesman and brother, whose company is a lobbyist for Metro. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's not a good look if you're Jugmeet Singh when you're when you're complaining about oh I want bro grocery prices to go down but my brother's a lobbyist for Metro one of the most expensive places to get groceries. He's just a he's just a hypocrite in a massive massive way. I also have a couple of things here. Singh's top advisor and brother's company lobbies for grocery giant. No wonder food prices are up twelve percent. And there is uh, if you guys want to go to Pierre Polyev's Twitter or his ex whatever you want to call it. You can actually sign a uh, petition here if that's something you're interested in doing. Um, Jugmeet Singh is a coward. He's a socialist. He's a fraud. And like I said before in my last video, I'll say it again. Never trust a socialist wh who wears a Rolex, a golden Rolex watch. Why? Because that means that they want to take from you for the benefit of the good and not for the benefit of the country. That's why he's, he's continuing to support Justin Trudeau's communist wannabe government because he wants his pension. He does not care about Canadians. To get his two billion, two million pension, sellout Singh has betrayed workers with his blind loyalty to Trudeau. His NDP voted voted for Trudeau's plan to tax your food, punish your work, quadruple the, the carbon tax. And again, you can also sign the, the petition with this link here. So there's lots of links that Pierre Polyev posts if you want to sign these petitions just to make your voice heard. I'm not sure exactly what's going to come out of those petitions, but you know, get your name out there. Let, let the government know how displeased you are. Right? It's, it's important because then you know, when people speak up, they, they hear these things and they know if they don't change, they're going to lose power. I think it's too late for that. They're probably going to lose power anyway, but it's just it's just funny, right? Like Jugmeet Singh's whole thing is about, oh, I'm for Canadians first, Canadians first. It, it's very clear he's not. Otherwise, he would have voted for the vote of non-confidence. He wouldn't be showing off his Gucci bags, his Rolex watches, and you know his fancy house when he's doing his stupid cooking shows. And he's doing all this, selling himself out, selling Canada out, to form a coalition with Justin Trudeau, and he doesn't even have a seat at the table. He is not in Trudeau's cabinet. That's how much of a pathetic coward this guy is. He can't even negotiate a seat at a table in which Trudeau needs him to be at. But Trudeau just said, no, just, just stand off to the other side. Go go stand in the corner. We'll make big boy decisions. And then, uh, you know, when every time you get mad at you, we'll, we'll throw you a little... Every time you get mad at us, we'll just throw you a little tidbit so that you don't call an election. And Jugmeet Singh has gone, okay, fair enough. But he, he decided, you know, he, I, I don't want to negotiate for a, a spot at the, in the cabinet. I don't really want to say. I just want to keep the conservatives out. And then when the liberals are in, we can team up against the conservatives and pretend that they're, that they're the evil ones. And then the liberals are in power, so I can blame Trudeau on everything. And Jugmeet Singh thinks in his mind that he comes out looking like the good guy. Well, let me ask you guys a question. Is Jugmeet Singh a good guy? 
Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you he, do you think he's a good guy or in this situation the good guy? I can't wait to see all the roasts in the comment section. Whenever I make videos about Jugmeet Singh, you guys are always very active in the comments, just roasting him, and I love it. Keep it coming. It's hilarious. Try to keep it as clean as possible. You know, no racist things, because then I, I have to remove it for YouTube's terms of service policy. But roast away. It's funny. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will be back.